Hi, Kipsters. Welcome to a new unit called Straight, to Straight Statistics. We are focusing on statistics, which is the study of information and data. Typically, data and information is given to us in number form. Um, so when we look at a data set, we're looking at a set of numbers. Um, however, data isn't just always numbers, it's information. Um, so we can deal with objects as well. But in math, we typically deal with um, numbers. Okay. So today we're talking about the measures of central tendency. The measures of central tendency, mean, median, and mode. Let's move forward. Did you ever wonder these questions? What is, what is the average amount of children in, the, in a family in the United States? And did you ever wonder how much money uh, does a typical U.S. student owe after they graduate from college? Well, we're going to find out how these actual numbers are arrived at by looking at three measures of central tendency today. There are three measures of central tendency, and before I move into those, I want to let you know what central tendency means. It means the measure of the middle or the typical value that we would expect in a data set of numbers. There are three measures of central tendency. They are median, they are mean, median, and mode. Again, there are three measures of central tendency. They are mean, median, and mode. And we're going to go into each detail and figure out how we arrive at these statistical measures. Okay, so mean. Mean also has a synonym called the average. How many of you have ever heard people say, what does a typical United States um, classroom look like? Or what does the typical sixth grader do? What they mean by that is, what does the average student um, in sixth grade do? Okay, or what does the average classroom in, in America look like? So the mean is the typical value in a data set. Now, how do we find it? Well, the mean we're gonna find by adding up the data, and then dividing by the total number of add-ins. So if I have five numbers that I'm adding up, I'm going to add them up, and then I'm going to divide by five. If I have four numbers that are in my data set, then I'm going to add them up, and I'm going to divide by four. Okay? So in this case, I'm going to have, how many numbers do you see? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to add them up, and then I'm going to divide by I'm going to divide by 5. So let me first add up my numbers. 1, 3, 0, 2, and 4. When I add them up, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 2, 6. And 6 plus 4, 10. So my, my sum is 10, and I'm going to divide that now by 5. However many add-ins that I have. And 10 divided by 5 will give me... Two, okay? So I can say that my mean equals two, okay? That is how you find the mean. You find the mean by adding up all the numbers and dividing by the, by the number of add-ins that you're using, so the number of numbers that you're adding up. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We have median, okay? Median is the middle value of a data set when it's put in order. Okay, so we first have to have our data in order in order to find the median. So the first step is to arrange the data in order from least to greatest. Okay, and once we do that, then we're going to repeatedly remove the lowest and the highest in pairs. So lowest highest is one pair, lowest highest is another pair, lowest highest is another pair, until we are left with just one number in the middle. If we're left with that one number in the middle, then that is going to be our median the middle value, okay, the middle value. But if there are two numbers left, and you'll only get two numbers left if you have an even number of numbers that you're adding up, I mean, that you're looking at, then you are going to have to find the mean of those two numbers. And then that number will give you the median. Let me be clear one more time. To find the middle value, you're going to arrange the data in order from least to greatest, then you are going to um, cross off in pairs, the lowest and highest until you're left with one number in the middle. If you're left with one number, then you have your median. That is your median. If you have two numbers left in the middle because you have an even data set, then you are going to take those two values, add them up, and divide by the total number of numbers, which is two. And that will give you your median. Let's actually go into a couple of, of examples. So I want to find the median um, of these numbers. The first step is to arrange them in order from least to greatest. 
So let me find the smallest number here. It is 9. I found it. I'm going to write it. Next smallest number is 10. I look through the entire data set to make sure that I'm writing the proper numbers. Next smallest number is 10. Next smallest number is 10. Next smallest number is 13 is the smallest. Next smallest number is 14. Next smallest number is 15. Next smallest number is 18. And the last number, which is the smallest, is 18. Okay, now I've done the first step. Arrange my data in order from least to greatest. Next step is now to um, remove in pairs repeatedly the lowest and the highest. So let me take out the lowest and let me take out the highest. In pairs, that's one. Lowest, highest. I'm going to cross out the 18, cross out the 10. Cross out the 10, cross out the 15. Okay, cross out the 10, cross out the 14. Am I left with two numbers in the middle or just one? One. So I can say that that is my median. The median of this data set is 13. That is the middle value. The middle value. Median is found by ordering from least to greatest and finding the middle value by crossing off the least and greatest in pairs until you're left with one number or two. Here I'm left with one. Now let me figure out what I do when I'm left with two numbers. I first have to order my data in order from least to greatest. Let's do that. So I have 16, 14, 14, 10, 9, and 15. Let's see that. Smallest number is 9. Next one is 10. Next one is 14. Next one is 14. Next one is 15. And the last one is 16. Okay? Once I've done that, I'm now going to remove the numbers in pairs from least and greatest, lowest, and highest. Let's see. I have 9. Crossing out the 9, crossing out the 16. Crossing out the 10, crossing out the 15. If I cross out both these numbers, I'm going to have no numbers in the middle. So I have two numbers left in the middle, and what I'm going to do is add them up. I'm going to take the mean of these two numbers, and then divide the sum by the number of add-ins that I have, which is 2. When I do that, I get 14. So the median is 14. Okay? It won't always give you the same number in the middle. In this particular case, it does. Though. Okay? And the last one. The mode is the most frequent number that appears in a data set. The most frequent value, that means the number that occurs the most often. Okay? How do you find it? Well, you look for the value that occurs the most. And another note that's really important, you may have more than one mode. Let's actually go to the data set. So, 13 occurs once, 10 occurs one, two, three times. So far, which number occurs the most? 10. 10 occurs three times. 18 occurs two times. So, is 18 occurring the most number of times on this? No, it's 10. So, it doesn't mean the numbers that repeat the most. It doesn't mean the numbers that repeat. It means the name of the numbers that occurs the most. And so far it's going to be 10, 18 is out, 15 only occurs once, 14 only occurs once, 9 occurs once, and 10 is three times. So the mode of this data set is 10. Let's look at this data set right here. I have 16, 14, 14, 10, 9, and 15. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another 15 right here, okay? How many times does 16 occur? Once. How many times does 14 occur? Twice. So 14 is my mode so far. 10 occurs once, 9 occurs once, 15 occurs twice. Does it occur the same amount of times as 14? Yes. So therefore, I have two modes. The mode is 14 and 15. Hope you enjoyed. And here are some statistics for you. The average amount of children in the family in the United States is 1.7, and the typical United States college student owes $12,400 after he or she graduates. Enjoy.